Hey, in this video we're going to be installing a traditional style pocket door handle. In my pocket door video I used a retrofit style handle because I reused the door. But this is a new door for a new install and I'm going to show you quick how to cut this in. It's pretty basic, the only issue is there's not a lot of meat around the edges of the sink so you got to be very accurate. I'm going to use just a jigsaw to cut this in with a nice new blade in it, nice and straight, make sure everything's straight. I got a plastic guard on here, but if your door is already painted or you're using an old jigsaw, you might want to tape it up. I'm going to be doing some more painting on this door, so I'm not overly concerned about it. Follow your instructions, it's going to give you the sizes and everything. My handle has a lock on it. In the jam, I'm going to need to install a strike plate for the locking mechanism to work. That's very similar to the strike plate in my pocket door, so if you want to check that out, you can. I'm just going to show you how I mark it out and cut it into the door. So, let's uh, get to it. I'm going to mark the center. My instructions say two and a quarter high, one and three quarter deep. And I use my square and get it all marked out. So two and a quarter, so I'm going to go one and an eighth. One and an eighth. One and three quarter deep. Double check on my lock set. Should be good that way. Good that way. 36 inches up. So the front, you're gonna see that. So you wanna make sure the front is nice and square. When you bring the jigsaw in, you do a nice clean cut. Now you might wanna put some relief holes. You just gotta make sure when you drill through, you might wanna do halfway through one side, flip the door over and do halfway through the other side so you don't blow this out. I'm gonna try it without, we'll see what happens. So this is the most critical part. Get nice and lined up. not quite perfect so the front is fitting really nice but it still doesn't want to sit in you can see it's gapped there and it seems to be hitting just where the cup is and also where the screw goes in so instead of cutting this a little bit bigger I'm just gonna back cut a little bit with my knife I don't want to cut out any more than I have to and risk doing damage or making that front nut sit very well. Close. Now I think it's just where this guy is. So I'm just gonna, and it could go in a little bit farther. Get a drill bit. See if I can get this. I just used a countersink bit. Okay, sitting good now, nice and flat. As flat as I can get it. I'm gonna flip the door over and do the other side. Make sure I get everything looking good. Okay, once you got it all fitted, tighten up this front screw to squeeze it together. Pre-drill for the little screw. Finish it off. That's it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Like I said, it'd be nice if you could just cut a bigger hole, but then the front of the 
the front's not going to look nice. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, leave them below in the comments section. Please hit the like button, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe.